Step back in time to see a legend. A real superhero in motorcycle history. He was a real showman. He wore fearless, he did thing on motorcycles what nobody did before. He did wheelies on next level. He was celebrity, and his fans come from whole world. He traveled the world and did his shows. He make few world records. Some of his tricks were never done from other stuntmans. Step back in time and enjoy best moments. Doug DeMocos was born in Niles, Michigan on December 31, 1955. He began riding motorcycles at the age of 15 and was hooked instantly. Doug would ride motorcycles in his free time, mostly by an abandoned railroad terminal grounds near his house. He soon became a talented motocross rider. He began working as a mechanic at the local motorcycle shop, Red Bud Cycle. Sometimes after working on a motorcycle, he would take it for a quick test drive by doing wheelies on it. During the motocross events at Red Bud MX Tomokos would ride his motorcycle and during intermissions perform a wheelie show of his own for the crowd. From an early age, Tomokos loved having the crowd's attention, especially when he was on one wheel. Problems with going up Lombard Street are going to be the way the turns are, they're carved out, they're kind of banked turns. I'm not going to get a full knobby surface on the, on the street because of the cambered angle of the street. Plus there's a little oil on the bricks up there from the cars coming down the street and that's going to make it hard too. Conquering Lombard Street is going to be an ultimate test of Doug's skills, but Doug is prepared. After all, he's the only person ever to ride a distance of 20 miles while balancing on one, just one wheel of his bike. There he goes. He's wheeling already. And now up Lombard Street. suddenly shifting his weight. Now he's nearly at the top. It looks like he's going to make it. And he does. It's a new wheelie first. And now Doug celebrates with a few spins around the cable car. Demokas is going for it. He's off. <laughs> Balance on the descent is much more critical and demanding than it was going uphill. suddenly encounters a rather formidable obstacle. But somehow there doesn't seem to be any obstacle that's too big for the Wheelie King. Doug just took a 52-step stairway right in stride. Doug's now within sight of the bottom. And suddenly another obstacle starts to get in the way of his record. A top wheelie man, however, never lets anything stand in his way. Here's that wheelie car crossing again. In the 1970s, Doug DeMocos began performing shows professionally at Redbud events, with the help of the owner, Gene Ritchie. Years later in 1978, DeMocos caught the attention of Kawasaki's Brian Farnsworth, who liked what he saw. Soon after, Doug was given a new Kawasaki bike and a new Toyota pickup truck to travel all around the U.S. doing shows. 
By the late 70s Damokos was performing at stadiums and tracks nationwide. He gained national attention and was even featured in some motorcycle magazines. His hobby of stunt riding motorcycles was turning into a career. In 1981 Damokos left Kawasaki and signed with Honda to go even bigger. They worked together to engineer motorcycles that wheelie better specifically for him. By then he was traveling all over the world to wheelie for all kinds of people. With Honda he went to England, France, Netherlands Italy, Mexico, and all over South America. He even performed in Japan for the Emperor. Three years later, Demokos attempted to break the world record for the longest wheelie on a motorcycle. He made it into the Guinness Book of World Records with his 145-mile-long wheelie at Talladega Speedway. This record would stand for over eight years. Doug Demokos had many other accomplishments such as the world's tallest wheelie by doing five circles on the roof of the Empire State Building. Also, he held the world records for wheeling with eight passengers on a three-wheeler and six passengers on an ATV. Demokos held many records and was notoriously known for his wheelies. Doug Demokos held many world records such as the world's longest wheelie and the world's tallest wheelie. He was featured in countless magazines and videos and even wrote his own book, Wheelian with the King. From the 1980s to 1990s motorsport fans worldwide knew his name. Also, Doug Demokos later devoted a lot of his time to giving back to society. He performed many shows to help raise money for various charities and organizations. On November 26, 2000, Demokos died at age 44 in an ultralight aircraft accident. The accident happened in Murrieta, California. Also involved was Doug's instructor, Keith Lamb. Doug Demokos and his fiance had one son, Nicolas. Doug would like to remind you youngsters, especially those of you who are intent upon trying any one of these tricks, please be sure to get yourself a good safety helmet and also wear all the padded clothing that you own. Support Act. Jetting in direct from the US, the incredible Doug Demokos, the Wheelie King, is going to try and wheelie around the entire Supercross Masters course. This guy is really incredible. Earlier this week I saw him wheelie across the Harbour Bridge, but he's no sideshow act, I'll tell you. He's so big in the States, in fact, Crompton, that his work for uh, vehicle safety has earned him commendations from US traffic authorities. <laughs> What about this, Wilco? He's the holder of a world record wheelie for 145 miles at 50 miles an hour. Yeah, and he was saying earlier that he recently did five laps around the top, thank you very much, of the Empire State Building. <laughs> oh boy, how tough is this task through the stutter bumps? Oh, look out, he's spotted. Well, he's going to have another go. This looks like a tough part, but my gee, I reckon he looks pretty determined this time. He's done it! What a performance! Well done, Doug Demokas. What a show. It's going to be a hard act to follow. Doug Demokas, 21-year-old American from Nile, Minnesota. A one-time hill climber and drag racer, Doug has developed a unique talent for monowheeling and is probably the best monowheeler in the world and is known as the Wheelie King. 
The Sydney Harbour Bridge is one of Australia's most famous landmarks, much admired all over the world and referred to with affection by Australians as the Coat Hanger. It's not every day you see a motorcyclist performing a monowheel across the entire length of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. But if the smiles on the faces of the drivers of these cars and the tooting of the horns is any indication, this event appeals to their imagination. Don't tell me. This is more than just a stunt. It is his way of saying hi to Sydney and the best compliment he can pay Australia and its people. This really is easy for Doug. The difficult bit is completing a full circuit of the Super Bowl motocross track on the back wheel, jumps and humps and all. Some of the jumps are very steep and as much as four metres high.